This is the best staffed crew aboard Gargoyle ever. We have Captain Carla, we have Captain Ron, and yours truly, Captain Kevin. Director, filmmaker. Didn't quite make it. My adjectives are extremely good looking. I prefer to be known by that. There she is. Sexy wife. Look at that. Acapulco shirt. She's looking good. Oh. Uh, Papagayo Marina Operations, thank you very much. This is Gargoyle departing on next port of call, Hukaniva, French Polynesia. Thank you for the hospitality. Adios, there went small exchange, amigos. There you go. Hey, Sammy. You ready to go to sea? Hey, what you looking at, huh? Papagayo and some nice little light winds here, seven to 12 knots of wind. We're coming out, heading to Nukahiva. I've got it plotted on the course, on the chart plotter. You can see right now, it says 25 days. We're expecting to pick up speed when the winds start to build, but uh, 3,441 nautical miles to go. It must be going that way. We're just been cruising by a long line, but uh, we didn't catch anything, so that's good news. We've run over it. We missed it by that much. You really went right by it? It's yeah. not like it's long as here. It's 4.30. We are flying. Uncomfortably, but we are flying. Rock and roll and experience. We are. Nothing like getting the shit kicked out of you on your first day. It's not the, it's not the up and down and straight motion. It's a boom. It just corkscrews. Yeah. I mean, I just threw those off and then, oh, it drove me in the bottom of the next It is what it is. It's been a fun day. Hopefully, the further we get away, the little calmer it gets. Good morning, it is six o'clock. I'm just finishing my shift and Kevin's coming up. We have been becalmed, kind of. We've got about 10 knots. So uh, we're gonna check the weather this morning and make a plan for today. It is about five o'clock. We had a pretty nice day out here. Consistently between about five and ten knots, so we've got the Genoa pulled out and um, we've just been moving along at about five to six knots. Crew is well rested after a bumpy night last night, and we're forecasting a little wind tonight, but we haven't seen it yet, so we'll see if it comes to fruition. It has been a rolly night. Um, we had really calm winds, and then all of a sudden at midnight, everything went crazy, and we uh, went up to 20 knots with gusts up to 30. It was really rolly, and we had to go downwind to take the waves on the stern. So we're just sailing under the main right now, and as soon as Kevin wakes up, we're gonna pull up the front sail and uh, get moving. Rough, rough night. Rough night. Tossed us around. Cats aren't happy. Nobody's happy on cargo this morning. <laughs> Fiends throwing up. Fiends threw up? Fiends threw up. Aww. 
Carla is deploying the pole here on a very lumpy morning. Notice she's all tethered in. We're not taking any chances. It is shite. We need to get some power up. The pole is successfully deployed. You can see it out here. And we've got reefs in the uh, front sail still. Because damn it's still blowing. And it's lumpy as hell. And I'm not gonna take it anymore. Carla made it back in too. How was it up there? It's not too bad. It's a little wet. My feet are wet. She hates it when her feet are wet. Okay. I think I think we're just gonna sit here. The crew is assembled on deck and we all feel that this sea state sucks. So we're waiting for it to smooth out. Calm mornings mean cat mornings. Oh, Sammy's got the helm. Dean, don't be causing trouble. Dean's got a squid. I'm like, I'm not eating that, man. Beautiful day. And I'm just up here at the bow doing a quick little tiny repair and checking up on Bob, Bob the bird. And uh, he's enjoying his little water bath. He's looking much better since he's had some fresh water. He's still a little shy, but he, uh, he doesn't fly off when I come up to water him. The other repair I did was on the furler. This guy right here had moved up on our stanchion and what it was doing was it was causing the line to bunch up at the top of the furler. So I've just moved it down about an inch so that it looks like it's going to the middle of the furler. We'll check the furl tonight or whenever we let her out again just to make sure that it doesn't all add up at the top and it's evenly distributed because it was jamming on us a little bit. Beautiful night, but we have a small problem. This due west heading that we've been doing has been shadowing our solar panels. So we're a little low on juice. We are. We're low on juice, so we're topping it up and it shouldn't take very long. And then the Witcher will take us uh, through the nights. Yeah, not great because we're going so slow at night. So we're not getting as much power as we'd like at night out of it. But get us through. We also have more visitors on the boat. Voila. Like, like this guy right here. Hey buddy. What are you doing? She or he has been resting up there for the last, I think, hour. And really weird, check this out. There's a squid on top of our solar panel. I have no idea how that can get up there. We have been bobbing all night and finally the wind has picked up and we have friends. Five days of downwind sailing. The wind has done almost a 180 and we are doing some upwind sailing. 
which is good because the winds are really light and this is Gargoyle's favorite point of sale. My personal opinion, I think the dolphins brought the wind. So I have just gotten up from a nap. The crew is talking upstairs um, and it's time for breakfast. So I'm gonna whip up some rice and beans and poached eggs and uh, take it upstairs. Yummy. And of course, you always need a supervisor. Hey, right, Tammy? She looks kind of grumpy this morning. There it is, breakfast. Who wants breakfast? Oh, I think we do. You got some there? Is this Ron's? That's yours. This is mine, oh, not Ron's. Oh, breakfast Ron, you must have a special breakfast. one. Oh. Breakfast on gargoyle. Oh, you know me, I like whipping stuff up. It is a spectacular day today. Are you an alien? Where's my wife? like whipping stuff up. Yeah. <laughs> I'm on watch right now, but I'm wondering what the crew's up to. Well, the furry crew sleeping. 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 Oh. What's the captain doing? Captain thought some chocolate chip cookies might be good today. You're gonna make chocolate chip cookies? I'm making chocolate chip cookies. Oh, stay tuned, kids. We'll see what this looks like. You don't wanna. Yeah, if you, this takes a while if you do it right. Because you gotta do it mm -hmm. slow and you don't rush it. These ones are done. Get down there, it's not mixed. <laughs> okay, quality control. Quality control here. Oh, oh, oh my oh, god, oh. that's like a whole cookie. Mm. Mom, I told no, her bad. she'd get rabies from it. Just no, I'm like bad at all. Us. All right. Or worms. Oh, cookie time. Uh, cheers. Cheers. <laughs> oh, cookie time. Mmm. Oh. Wow. Well, those are pretty good cookies. Oh, they're chewy. Mm. Good job, Master Chef. Fresh baked cookies on a boat a thousand miles out in the Pacific. I like it. Good morning. We have been busy this morning. We have, and we're not just making French toast. And we're not making French toast, although I might make poached eggs again. So busy, the captain is to sit back and relax for a while. He broke a sweat. I'm not the captain. Well, I guess I am the captain now, but yeah. you're the captain. But the good news is, oh yeah, the good news is, dun 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 dun. Jennifer is flying. So, so to celebrate our Jennifer rising. Let's see. Cookie cheers. 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 Mm, cookies. Cookies. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. Uh, defrost some chicken. Oh, I thought we were having fish. I thought we were having fish too. Well, we have it on good authority that we're entering Barracuda and Tuna waters. Well, well, we're not catching anything. I'm telling you, <laughs> starting to get pissed off. Uh, all right, down to go get some chicken. You guys are gonna be really sick of chicken by the time we get there. The other white meat. Fish. So tonight we've got the Witcher up. She's not in. So we're just not making enough speed to make good power and the half knot drag is just not worth the uh, trade-off here. We still have the big Jenniker up as you can see flying about six knots of wind moving us along at five knots and heading into our eighth sunset of this passage. Then it is 6 a.m. and Kevin is up. Here, he just arrived to order to take over the next shift, but we have successfully survived 24 hours of having our Jenniker up and running. 
Kevin had the hardest shift last night because we did have a little bit of squall activity. So he had to dodge in via radar and run down and close hatches. But uh, we survived. Ooh, we did. Yay. We did survive. <laughs> oh, it was your woman. <laughs> and the Kurgan. The passage was going well and we had made great progress sailing over 1200 nautical miles in the first seven days of our passage. The only issue we were having was the crew's inability to catch fish. And then day eight came along. We uh, make water every other day just to make sure that our tanks are always full and just making sure that we're keeping the water maker working. And today we got we got a salinity alarm, meaning that we're the sensor or probe is sensing too much salt water or it thinks it's sensing too much salt water. And it's pumping through at the right pressure. Salinity is definitely coming down. But not fast enough. Nope. Is that, I can't really see it because the reflection, is that an eight or a three? Eight. 808, yeah. Okay, so I'll go in. Four seconds on the stop display button should take me in. Now. So four seconds on stop display, boom, takes me into the menu. So the problem is the probe senses the water coming out of, off the membrane as fresh water. It's so looking at the fresh water and saying it has too much salt in it still. So rather than diverting it, there's a diverter valve up there. Instead of sending it into our water tank, it's just pitching all that fresh water overboard. So what we're gonna do is we're saying, okay, so don't reject it at the 808 it was at we were seeing. Instead, up to 848, it's good. Put it in the water tank. Uh, we think that we have possibly a fouled probe and we need to clean it, but we don't really feel like trying to clean it while we're at sea. So we've set it. It's now kicked into run mode. I'm gonna put two hours on it and we'll see here if this actually works. Winding up. this water as it goes into the tanks to make sure it's good. Hey, right. so we now have water no longer being diverted overboard. It's now being diverted into this cup. But I'm not sure what my wife's gonna do now. She needs, a, she needs a bucket, a bucket, quick. What do you think? I don't know, we need a salinity probe. Yeah. Seems to taste okay impossible to tell the difference between like parts per million of salinity. Yeah, but parts per million. So we'll see if it runs consistently and I don't know, maybe we can flush out that salinity probe because I think that's what the problem is. We finally got the salinity to stabilize um, and right now it's sitting just under 800 parts per million. So WHO says as long as it's under a thousand, technically it's safe drinking water. So we're just going to continue to monitor it and run a little saltier than usual. No showers. We're going to start using salt water for stuff. And um, we're just going to limp through the next two weeks, I guess. There's not too much else we can do unless we can figure out exactly what's going on. But at least we have water. Tell me about your day, Mr. Nash. <sighs> Carla ate the last cookie. I did. She did. She ate the last cookie. We'll tell you about our day. Today was quite the day today. Our water maker um, didn't work right. So we had to troubleshoot that, figure out what the problem was. We still aren't 100% sure, we know, but we found a workaround. So it's making water that we think is good. So and our tank is full. That's good. That's good. That's why we have a third crewman, somebody to test the water on. So far, he looks good. He still looks good. <laughs> he looks he, he still, still looks good. He's still smiling. <laughs> And then, so we've got a tank full 150 gallons plus our emergency backup. And then we ran into a problem with our halyards. So our, so we've been flying the Jenniker for the last few days. I noticed that we were getting wear on the halyard at the mast entry points. Uh, so we went ahead and dropped it and put the Jenniker away. And then it's really worn up top as well. So no more Jenniker flying on this trip. But we have a beautiful sunset. And so far we've been able to fix everything. So good news. Good news. Ciao for now.